Big Rob, what'd you say, Big Robbie? Oh. Sean Roddy, Rudy Wickler, Brandon Curry think that they might be let off the hook. Said I wanted to be a champion. What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to Kenny KO. No, mm, no pink eye for me. I'm just really high. Today, I am actually going to be telling you something more crazy than Kai Green going vegan and thinking he's somehow going to make more gains. I swear, one day we are going to see Kai Green go out on social media and just say that all of his gains in his entire life were never attributed to any cycles, his training, or anything, just simply all boiled down to him doing a diet change for a week. Now, what I want everyone to realize from this video is that even the top competitors, the top physiques on Instagram, the top physiques on social media are still lying to you and Kai Green is the perfect example and that is why we are here making this video so Kai I want you to be careful because what's the saying fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me I think that's how it goes but regardless you get what I'm trying to say so this picture you are currently looking at yeah Kai Green looks like an absolute monster and you probably wouldn't think twice looking at it at first glance scrolling on Instagram and I also want to mention this wasn't first discovered by me I'm just simply touching on the photo and everything that was brought to light in Kai Green's response this was actually posted and found by Louis Marco or one of Louis Marco's fans either way Louis Marco is the one that posted it on social media now what you are gonna notice good old humble Kai who is always about his fans and trying to preach and sell anything he possibly can to gain the quickest buck possible goes and posts a photo that he doesn't realize he posted or maybe he realized this but didn't think this far ahead he posts a photo pre-competition i think years ago is what louis marco stated and you can see it's the same exact picture but kai green's most recent upload is a totally different looking physique now if kai green had the physique that he photoshopped on the top he probably would have won the olympia now, I don't know if this is the most severe case of bigorexia to ever exist, but it just goes to show even Kai Green, you know, like you would think someone that big with that much muscle who, you know, is in great shape year round would ever, would like never need to Photoshop a picture. Like they have nothing to prove, but I was wrong. I honestly thought there was people out there who wouldn't feel the need, but Kai Green proves anyone, any one of us, me, you who are watching your favorite athlete on social media, I don't know. Anyone could be photoshopping. I mean, it's obvious, like 100%, no doubt in my mind, Photoshop. It's the same picture, Kai's arms are way bigger. There's way more detail, way more structure going on in the new photo he posted. For fuck's sake, like it's a just totally different physique. Now the best part is on Louis Marco's post, he did the comparison where you see the new upload on the top and then Kai Green's old photo that I guess he never realized would surface on the bottom. But Kai Green actually has the audacity, the audacity to go onto Louis Marco's post and comment, just added a little structure and sharpener before posting, but that's not Adobe. A little structure and sharpening. I've never seen that in my entire life, unless there was some new Instagram update. Here, let's check here. Um, up to date, uh, yeah. If you are claiming that this was just solely structure and sharpening, then I might as well claim that this picture and this transformation of me is just structure and sharpening. Like first you know that it's 100% Photoshop, not only by the first glance at it, but his arm on the bottom photo, you can see it's like pretty much outlined by the locker. And then on the top Photoshop picture, his arms are not only insanely bigger, but his arm surpasses past the locker. Now look, I don't know if Kai Green's been eating some expired vegetables on his new vegetarian diet, or if maybe the years of anabolic use went to his brain and he thinks that somehow Photoshopping a picture means that you're changing the structure and the sharpening. Because I mean, other than Louis Marco and maybe like one or two people here and there posting a comment about being Photoshop, every single comment, there was thousands that honestly thought it was Kai in his current condition, not even like pre-contest years ago or that it was photoshopped or anything. Just they thought that was honestly Kai Green. No one, no one other than, as I mentioned, a couple people even batted an eye at it. And that's how easy it is to get away with it. And it's just so mind blowing. I mean, maybe Kai, if you want to claim that you're changing the structure and the sharpening, you should have done it on your grapefruit post. You know, if the grapefruit's looking a little more chiseled, a little bit better lighting, but let me just run with it. You know, let's just say Kai has put on 50 pounds of muscle. 
and, and you know went to the same exact location same exact look and wanted to do a repeat photo show a little progress update i can't even be serious saying this but his response just added a little <laughs> structure and sharpener before posting but that's not adobe well there you have it I guess that's not Adobe because Kai Green says it's not Adobe. Don't ever look at the evidence of the before and after or what has been altered or changed. Just take his word for it. Take the word of the man who went vegetarian for a week and then started to preach a vegetarian lifestyle and also released an ebook talking about the benefits of being a vegetarian. But bigorexia, guys, no joke, bigorexia is a thing. It is out there, is prevalent. I've seen it firsthand in people I know and encounter on a day-to-day -day basis. And apparently, even Kai Green, I wouldn't doubt if many other IFBB pros and top bodybuilders in the world have the same thing and are even photoshopping their pictures. Facetune and Photoshop, you can basically give yourself abs. You can give yourself striations in your chest, shoulders, arms. You can add veins. You can do basically everything because if you can see on Kai Green's left arm in his photo or on your right, if the photo you're looking at, the veins on the top are much more prominent and popping. Like he added detail to it. Same goes for the midsection and the striations in the chest. You can see the muscle fibers on the inner chest on the top photo are much more predominant. Like for fuck's sake, can you not trust anyone anymore? I'm out here buying grapefruits thinking that's the absolute key to getting me jacked. But I've been bamboozled. I've been fucked over. I, I don't know what to do anymore. Do I go vegetarian? Do I just take photos in Photoshop? Maybe I just take a picture of someone else and put my face on the body. I, I just don't know. But on a serious note, guys, I mean, you've heard me say this so many times in so many Photoshop videos. Yes, I almost just ate it just there. But don't be comparing yourself to people on social media. You see it time and time again. But like Kai Green in his initial photo, you know, back when he used to compete, still looked phenomenal. He could have just reposted the same photo, probably would have got the same interaction. No one would have ever called him out about Photoshopping because it wouldn't be Photoshopped. Like, I don't see the need or why. I don't see the reasoning why he would Photoshop this picture. But anyways, guys, every like on this video will save a grapefruit from Kai Green. I have some exciting new videos coming in the next couple days, so make sure to turn on the post notifications. You don't want to miss that. And I just want you guys to be careful and remember when you are doing your next upload onto Instagram, the good old social media, make sure to alter your structure and your sharpening. Ride or die, ride or die, ride or die, ride or die.